Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to my lab. We're gonna rant again today. This time, I'm gonna be ranting about myself. Because I realized something. The topic is Phantom versus Vandal. As you guys know, I'm pretty bad at this game when it comes to my aim. Like, my game is pretty okay. Like, my ability usage, pretty okay as well. But when it comes to my shooting skills, they're not the best. And that's a problem. And for the past two and a half years, well, actually a little bit less, but since the beginning of the game, I was always advocating that Phantom is the better gun than Vandal because it's more, let's say, overall use, it's more efficient, it's uh, still the same damage up 15 meters and so on. And because of that, I do think that Phantom is universally a better gun, has more bullets as well, and you can shoot through smokes, right? Before revealing your locations. So I feel like Vandal is, 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 is inferior, apart from the fact that it just deals the consistent damage, right? And, and the one-tap ability. So for the entirety of the early Valorant history, I was always advocating to everyone to prefer Phantom uh, before the nerfs as well and so on, because I did feel that because of the, um, the fact that you can also spray more consistently with the, uh, with the Phantom, I thought it's better for newer players as well. And I was wrong. I'm happy to admit, guys, I was wrong. Okay, Buttercups? I was wrong. And the reason for that is I realized lately that when someone is mechanically worse, using Phantom is like shooting yourself in a foot when you could be using Vandal instead because Vandal is the easier gun to use. Let me explain my thought process, okay? So if you want to be really good with the Phantom, you need to have crisp mechanics because of the fact that sometimes you will not kill a player with the first bullet to the head. When that happens, you need to readjust. You need to know exactly what to do with the control of the gun, with the movement, and the cover in general, and map awareness that will be, um, let's say, compensating for the fact that you didn't kill someone with the first bullet. Because if you just miss the second, third bullet, then you're dead, most likely, right? So there's very small room for an error, because if you, if you go for this headshot and you don't follow up, you're as good as dead. You dealt some damage, but it doesn't really matter in most cases, right? So there's also a problem with Phantom being a weapon that will try to convince you it's okay to spray, right? Is is a gun that many players, and I spoke, actually I spoke with Steel about that. That was the moment when I realized that as well, because Steel asked me, why do I play so shit with Phantom, but with Vandal I play so well? And I paid attention to how he played the game. And whenever he had the Phantom equipped, he was playing it like a Spectre. He was running more, he was spraying more, he was committing to crouch and spray, he wasn't thinking about being efficient. He didn't do burst, like any bursts with his gun. So he was literally griffing himself because he was playing it like it's CS, right? But I think it's more about the fact that, that the gun is just so similar with the feeling to it that it gives you to a Spectre. And when you play a Vandal, the, the sound of it, the weight of it that you feel in the hands, right? Virtually speaking, makes you a little bit more aware of, um, uh, of the trigger discipline. So you're bursting more, and you're spraying less. And in this game, in Valorant, believe me when I say this, majority of the duels, huge majority of the duels, are decided by who has better precision. Not accuracy, precision. And that is very important in taking duels, right? If you go to my chat and type in exclamation mark duels, you will be able to practice that thing, because... When you, go for, um, when you go for accuracy, you can hit someone with 100% accuracy, hit him three times in the body for 105, but the other motherfucker hits you one in the head, 
And it doesn't matter that he missed two auto bullets, right? So who wins there? The guy with 100% accuracy or the guy who just hits one bullet with precision, right? So it's all about taking your time and putting that bullet into the head. You're most likely not playing against like super tier one pro players as most, you know, the, those players typically playing against other players from the same range. So you have a little bit more time to adjust to the situation at hand. And because of time, you have more time to be efficient with the way you shoot bullets, right? Let me, let me show you something. When I'm in the practice range, right, and I want to shoot bullets efficiently, I'm not going to go for this. I'm not going for this. This is very inaccurate, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go left, right, spray, three bullets, two bullets, four bullets maximum, move. And I want to be efficient with this. And I will take my time if I know if I miss. Because the importance is, I want to hit the head. I don't want to hit the body at all. Right? So, I want to be precise. Accuracy comes as a bonus. Right? And when you play Phantom, many people just do this. Enemy? Oh no! Oh no! Enemies! And they never move. And moving in this game is so important. You need to be strafing left, right, have this ingrained in, ingrained in your muscle memory to dodge bullets from guns that are high precision, like Guardian, like Sheriff, like Operator, Marshal. You want not to be hit by it. And you will achieve that by being mobile. If you crouch, you're as good as dead if you don't have good precision, right? So the... The, the secret to playing Phantom, let's say, in a better way than a Vandal, is playing it like a Vandal. You want to be bursting as much as possible, but the thing is, you're only going to be efficient at this if you're going to have insane mechanics. Because, again, you can hit the headshot and not kill someone, right? Then you need a follow-up. Only the best players can do that consistently. So... If you're not mechanically insanely gifted, I would advise to use a Vandal instead, so you can be more precise and get those one taps into your opponents. Like not everyone is is a, as Chad says, maybe Nats. Nats is, has insane mechanics and has very good control, and he makes the best out of the Phantom. But most players will benefit from playing the Vandal than the phantom the phantom of course has you know a benefit when you're up 15 meters when i'm up to up until 15 meters so this distance right here i'm gonna kill a player just like a vandal so there's no difference here right but in most cases it's gonna be over the distance and you will need to hit that second bullet right so uh yeah i guess um that's gonna be my rant about phantom and vandal when I realized that about myself as well, I, I literally stopped using Phantom. I only choose Phantom when I know that I'll be holding an angle that will benefit from the 15 meters, right? And um, I will benefit from, um, from spraying through smokes. If I know that, for example, I'm on defense and my opponents are using heavy smoke strat to push through a sight, I might actually go for a phantom so I can spray more freely to stop a potential push. But otherwise, I'm always going for a vandal. And it's even more important on agents that are, um, let's say, evasion-based, right? We have Reyna, we have Chamber, we have Jet, and to some degree, Yoru, because the TP is just so slow. But you want to be specifically on chambers so visible, right? You want to get a one bullet in and TP out. Reyna, you want to get one bullet kill and TP out. Dismiss out, right? And with Phantom, if you hit that headshot and you miss the follow-up, no can do or there's no impact, right? So, yeah, hope you guys learned something with me. Uh, it took me a while to realize that's this about myself, so maybe I'll be able to help you a little bit with uh, a self-reflection of mine. Thank you for watching. 
And um, call to action, by the way. If you have any questions or topics that you would like to be discussed in those videos, leave a comment below. And also, thank you, Elgato, for delivering this beautiful, this beautiful green screen. Mmm, so good. Thank you, my friends. See you around.